I would have very much liked to be with you today, but unfortunately I'm traveling in the US. So hence I'm uh, happy to have the opportunity to have this interview uh, taped and shared with you in the coming minutes. ASML is a company that builds uh, complex machines in a complex ecosystem. So what kind of machines do we build? It's a machine to, that is used to make integrated circuits. So we sell to the big chip makers of the world, Intel, Samsung, TSMC. These machines are in fact, you could say, nano copying machines. We print patterns on the chip. Well, one very interesting theme is this technology ecosystem. Clearly here the world is changing, not just for ASML, for many companies. Companies used to be vertically integrated. This company is a spin-off of Philips. In the days, Philips did their own equipment, building their own semiconductors, going onto their own television sets. Nowadays, it's much more the, uh, specialized, diversified, and a rapidly changing system. So if I look back 20 years and I compare it to today, we can only speculate what will happen in the next 20 years, but clearly our world will be more complex. And thus, to have a somewhat scientific framework to describe such a world, and, and at least be warned whether we are resilient to changes or not, is likely a topic of high interest. Complexity is a word that actually I started to appreciate uh, preparing for a workshop by the NBO in the KNW building last December. Uh, it comes in different ways, complexity. So I actually gave uh, three cases in the workshop. So let me shortly repeat them. One is um, self-organizing, uh, uh, self-assembly, meaning that uh, you, have a, you have a material that organizes itself in regular patterns. So this is uh, self-organizing systems. A second example, very different, is the use of our machines. There's many actuators uh, in a complex, in, an in a production environment, whereby the environment has a number of implications on the machine. Not all of them can be modeled and understood, yet we like to optimize these, the performance. And a third example uh, was, in fact, how we do our technology development. So we work in a world with many different partners, uh, generating uh, new products every two years into the market. And here the theme of complexity, which I must admit was relatively new to me, really came to life. Uh, we always ask ourselves some questions like, how resilient is our infrastructure? Uh, what if one of the partners, is how, how, do, how do people form? How do these alliances form? Uh, how resilient is it if one, uh, somebody drops off? So this technology ecosystem that goes from academics to companies to customers is actually something we live and breathe every day, but from a scientific point of view, uh, purely, uh, poorly understand. To have a program, meaning that multiple parties probably in a multidisciplinary way collaborate, to me seems very appropriate for a topic like this. Um, what is my expectation? Now, I said the theme of complexity, although highly irrelevant, is somewhat new to us as a company, as ASML. So we very much would like to explore with potential partners how we can define a theme that fits in this program and is relevant for both parties. So what do I mean? Needless to say, to, it should be of scientific interest. You know, we should uh, really use new techniques and methods and models to explore. So it should be scientifically interested. On the other hand, it should be potentially, and I put emphasis on the word potentially, of interest to us as a company. Meaning that knowledge and applying science leads to insight and a better operation of the company. Um, the challenge is that scientists should first understand our world. What is the world ASML operates in? And how can they use their knowledge to further uh, improve my world? And this requires some investment on their side. Uh, the offer is that I'm more than happy to share my, my challenges, uh, share my dilemmas with scientists, make an effort to talk their language, as they learn my language, such that they can then define how to work on a topic which is of interest to them scientifically 
and of potential use to me. I hope to find something surprising. I hope to find that people from the complexity field have a way to look at our problems, map uh, what we are doing and then come with new ideas, uh, which internally we would have not have uh, thought of. And to have something new, provocative, challenging, is the chance is bigger if you merge fields. On the other hand, as we all know, different fields talk different languages, so you must find a common language and you must find the common interest. So I'm sure it takes more than usual investment from all parties involved, patience, potentially brings a bigger reward. We are certainly willing to explore with the complexity community uh, by offering different cases and uh, by explaining how we think and work. Uh, yes, we're certainly willing to make the investment. At the end of the day, of course, we have to find common ground and uh, we are flexible in exploring this. Maybe it's just us, maybe it's broader, but my first question is, uh, what is the complexity scientist community? Since it's so diverse, where should I go to with my problem? Uh, so we have to find a platform, a forum, whereby different people, bankers, uh, high-tech systems, insurance companies can share their challenges, such that then the scientific community can say, okay, this is something I'm willing and able to address. So to build a platform is probably one of the biggest challenges for such a new evolving field as complexity. If we can make better use of our technology infrastructure, if we can have others make benefit from that same ecosystem, uh, understanding a complex world could be, and, and managing it more efficiently, is a multi-billion dollar question. Well, this is indeed a company that builds uh, complicated high technology machines. Therefore, by and large, we have a highly educated workforce in the beta sciences. I still believe beta sciences is important for the theme of complexity, but bringing in other fields can only enrich it. At the same time, again, let me emphasize, we, so we are open to it, but often they speak a different language. So we need a translator, we need, a, we need, we need to grow towards a collaboration step by step, whereby every step makes sense. So it's not that we exclude certain fields, but they have to be beneficial for the program in every step they come along. As said earlier, one of the critical challenges for complexity is to form a platform so that people know where to go to, that uh, people understand what complexity is and if they have questions they know where to go to. And we owe, in particular for such a multidisciplinary field as complexity is, could facilitate to build that platform. And that's a role they should play in my view.